So far in the recording topic, we've discussed the various methods for recording audio into Nuendo. However, you'll find that Nuendo's MIDI recording capabilities are just as extensive, offering very powerful means of recording and sequencing virtual instruments, external hardware synths and samplers, and just about any other MIDI-compatible hardware you may have in your studio. So in this movie tutorial, we are going to cover the steps to set up your MIDI tracks for recording and ensure your MIDI interface is routed properly. Options in several areas of the interface will be used to ensure proper MIDI setup before you begin recording. First is the MIDI device setup and your device setup page. Here you will find the options to activate and name your individual MIDI ports on whatever MIDI interface you have installed on your system. If you remember, we covered this section in detail during the System Setup and Configuration tutorial found in the introduction topic. So we'll skip this and move along. The next area is the actual MIDI tracks. You can work with your MIDI track settings from either the track list in the project layout window or within the VST mixer. For the sake of consistency, we'll use the VST mixer much like we did when setting up audio routing channels. By activating the input output view of the mixer, you have your options to set your input and output ports and the ability to set the MIDI channel for this track. You also have a button to activate what is called the input transformer. This is a very powerful tool that allows you to modify incoming MIDI data in real time as you play and record it. If you're using external MIDI hardware synthesizers, then you also have the ability to set up device profiles for each one. This is done within the MIDI device manager. Now if we move over to the MIDI track inspector, you'll find that we have the ability to set some of the same options as well as a few new ones. So let's go ahead and take a close look at how these functions actually all work together. In the VST mixer, enabling the input-output view of the mixer will give you the ability to set which input port and which output port are used on your MIDI interface. The input port will determine which musical keyboard or other MIDI controller device you will use as your controller. The output port will determine which instrument or virtual plugin will be triggered when you play your controller. Next, you will need to select a MIDI channel. You can choose any if your instrument is responding on an omni-channel. Once you have all that set up, you arm the track and you should now be able to play the instrument. Whenever you send MIDI in, you can verify that it's actually working by viewing the channel meter. This will light up any time MIDI activity is detected. You can also check this within the transport bar as well. One other great feature is the ability to add MIDI plugins to process your incoming controller data. You can call up wonderfully creative plugins such as the Corder for auto chord memory, or even a fully operable arpeggiator for great arpeggio and sequence effects. But we'll cover these in more detail in the MIDI plugins tutorial. So in closing, we've covered the main areas that are necessary to set up and configure before you can begin recording MIDI into your songs. We've also covered how to choose them as your ports when you create a MIDI track. Once you have these steps down, you'll be ready to create wonderful music with Nuendo's extensive MIDI capabilities. Now that we know how to set everything up, let's go on to the next tutorial that will cover the steps for actually recording MIDI into your songs.